The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Billy Ray Valentine from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Playing the A game today, boys and girls. We got a chance to see some wonderful things from Mr. Winsky. Norman, he calls it like he sees it. Winsky will be on at 930. I had several emails over the past several weeks asking me if I had a bucket list. And boys and girls, I've had a bucket list for a long time. There's only a few things left on it. I had to scratch off playing second baseman for the Yankees. They quit answering my calls. So I'm still, I have a few out there. Uh, one of them, of course, is trying to win the Ironman competition in Hawaii in the 80-year-old class. I finished second the last two years. And then also, of course, I wanted to do the free fall rock climbing championships at the El Capitan at Yosemite. Uh, I'll be doing that again this year. I finished second two years in a row there also. And if you believe any of that, channel out your moves to another station because it's all baloney. But I do have one on my bucket list, folks, and that is related to that chart we looked at yesterday. I had several people ask for it. It was a chart that was given to me by uh, Bryce Gilmore. It basically shows the geometry of the markets and how you put time and price and everything together by the use of the numbers of sacred geometry, of which the Fibonacci sequence is part of that. And also what I've tried to do is to work on a, you know, an artificial intelligence program to try to line up price and time. And I'll just give you an example of, you know, that type of thing. Uh, we'll just take a quick look at it here this morning. This was the DAX last night. Uh, you'll notice here that the turn in the market came uh, exactly at the 61% retracement at the exact time. Now, that's that's related to that time and price chart, but it's all done by numbers and computer, and it makes it a little bit differently. But we have another one that's very, very close today, boys and girls. And if you'll stare, bear with me here just a little bit here, I will get it up here if I can show you. I haven't checked it lately. What happened to it? This is not fair. It disappears on me. Doggone it. That's not good. All right. Let's move on. Okay. One other question. Someone asked me, what were the greatest uh, surprises uh, that you've seen over the years uh, dealing with students and stuff like that and friends? And frankly, I, I, what, I, what they mean by surprises were people that looked like they were, you know, at death's door and uh, yet they, they turned it around. And uh, I think the number one one, of course, was Joe Carrillo. He's the fellow, the vintner up in um, uh, Buellton, which is right by where uh, Michael Jackson's Neverland was. It was very close to where uh, John and I lived up there in Avila. He was a good friend of John Raffoni. He was Italian descent, good friend of John's father. And uh, – he had one eye. He had lost his eye in World War II, and he bought this little vineyard uh, many years ago, and he and his wife wanted to retire to uh, Palm Springs, but they were really having a rough time because the wine prices were really low. This was 1987, and he tried to sell the vineyard for two years. He had a big sign there on Highway 101, you know, Vintner for sale, but nothing ever happened. He hired a couple of real different real estate people to do it, and finally he had about a week to go before the bank was going to foreclose on him, and after all that work, all he would have left was about $75,000 after all the expenses and everything because the real estate people have basically written him off. And as luck would have it, that weekend, the TRW, I've heard, you know, you've heard of that TRW, is Thompson Ramo Woolridge. Well, Mr. Woolridge had retired from uh, TRW and was driving up with his wife, and he saw this big sign, and it said, Dago Red Vintner for Sale. And <laughs> uh, he pulled in, and he uh, stopped, and um, uh 
uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm laughing. So Joe's wife made him some pasta, a little bit of uh, scallopini and stuff. And uh, he said, you know, I think I'm going to buy this vineyard. Well, he paid full price for the thing, which was like three and a half million dollars. Joe walked away with a million large. And it was really, uh, you know, it really changed his uh, his life around. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but Woolridge's uh, daughter married uh, Pat Hayden. He was the guy that was a quarterback for UCLA when John McKay and uh, J.K. McKay and all those guys played against Notre Dame back in the 60s. This was before O.J., of course. Anyway, oh, you know, right before O.J. Anyway, let's move, uh, let's move on to what really counts. The second one was Sarah and I had a really nice student here, oh, about 12 years ago. He was a, a, a um, real estate, not a real estate, he was an insurance broker, a young man. He was only about 30. He had a couple offices up there. And he was always interested in real estate, so he bought this old house up in Pacific Heights. Now, Pacific Heights, those of you that like Robin Williams, you've seen the movie Mrs. Doubtfire. That's where that house was. That was Pacific Heights. We bought this old house, and he put uh, just about uh, seven or eight hundred thousand dollars in repairs, and he made it first class. The problem was. It was 2011, and he couldn't sell it, and he was really in deep deep doo-doo with the banks because interest rates were high then and so he was having some trouble and he had about three days to go and by golly uh the real estate people again had left him high and dry they, they stopped trying to sell the house and a guy knocked on the door and it was a rock star from london paid him full cash 2.2 million and he walked away with about 400 large and uh, that was another one that was really good so those are the other ones that i'm uh, that I'm looking at uh, as far as that. Folks, when I was joking about the bucket list, I, I really don't have a bucket list because I've done it just about – about everything I ever wanted to do, I, I, I you know, I've, I've always wanted to travel. Unfortunately, I've been able to travel to a lot of different places and, uh, you know, teaching people and stuff. It's been good and I made a lot of great friends. But uh, as far as other bucket lists, I, I don't uh, I don't really have much. I mean, I don't uh, I don't see uh, <laughs> it just every day is like a e-coupon ride. In fact, you know, I was going to take Thursday and Friday off. It turned out to be, you know, really good because I had a couple hours sleep. And then last night I slept another eight hours. So third time in a row, I have to go to the doctor tomorrow if it happens tonight. Anyway, folks, this market does not look bearish. That's all I can tell you. Last night where we stopped was spot on where it should have stopped. And as long as we don't go below 30 500 in the S&P, I think we're probably going to see 3,700 before we see 3,500. I know we're 55 handles away from that, but it's just not acting bearish. No matter what the news is, it keeps wanting to go higher. And when it does that, it's, you know, giving you some market information. Like today, you know, the China crowned the, the prince uh, POTUS. They said that the president uh, has been accepted by China. So that pretty much seals the deal. NBC came in. So all they're waiting now is for the Electoral College. And we're all going to be okay. I don't know how it's going to work, but nobody else does either. So we'll see how it all ends up. But we've lived in a pretty good country for 244 years, and I think it's going to continue. I just don't think it it just gives up on that uh, particular one. So we'll be uh, watching that as we go through and look at some of these other things. Now, we got a break coming up here uh, for a little more segment here, about six minutes. I wanted to cover a couple little things about some of the things that have been happening in these commodity markets that they follow here at TFNN that have been just absolutely going bonkers, especially coffee. And then we'll get back, and we'll be back with you in a minute. Norm Winsky will be on at the half hour. You don't want to miss that. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we are taking a look at the coffee chart. As you remember, Mr. Z was in here with his little drum and bugle core when it was trading down there at 104.50. The low was 102.60, and now we're trading at 112. You know, that's eight handles, folks. That's well over too large, so that's been a great uh, move here for those in the den that are trading coffee. We're starting to put coffee on the watch list, folks, because uh, it's really got some good moves. We've been watching Cocoa, of course for a long time. I will not move to orange juice, but uh, we will take a look at coffee. It looks uh, pretty interesting. Now, there is another one that we've been watching here in the den for some of you folks. This is the uh, four-hour chart of the copper. As you can see, we made that double top up there on the uh, 9th of uh, but just three days ago, four days ago, uh, in the copper up there at 321. Uh, the key level to watch, folks, is 319. We're now trading at 317. The 319 is the 78 percent level ABCD uh, over a uh, the last three days, and we we've cleared the, uh, the the 11th. We took that out by a penny, so it's not actually running away here. So this is actually a really good sale setup here uh, against that potential top. You could sell at 319 and put a stop at 321 so you'd only be risking about uh, 500 bucks in the copper if you wanted to look at that uh, from the short side because we did take out those highs of um, just three days ago and, and haven't really you know <laughs> haven't really blown away yet but it still could you know but the 319 would be the entry and you'd put a stop at the at the maximum of 321 you could actually put it in at 320 and only risk 250 if you uh, if you wanted to uh, take a look at that. I think that's one that's uh, pretty important. The uh, there's fact is those of you that belong to the 24/7 folks uh, got the video that I sent out this morning. We got a monster trade coming up here 
um, in about three days here that we're going to be uh, sending out for you, but you got to wait on it because it's got uh, a little bit of astro lined up with it. So you've got to be a little careful, uh, you know, getting in a little too early, but I think it'll be early next week that we'll be able to take a look at that trade, but it's still a little bit early. The Japanese yen uh, did exactly what it was supposed to do this morning, folks. It went right up to the 382, stopped dead in its tracks so far. So we'll uh, keep an eye on that one. And then, of course, the gold, we still think the gold is going lower. We got up, uh, we've rallied about $36 off the bottom now. Now, actually, we, we've gone more than we've gone $45 off the bottom because we got up to uh, uh, the 1895 level. And that's what we're keeping an eye on as we look at this here this morning. So just give me a second here. I've got to check the prices because I don't want to – uh, one of these things to get away from me. I'm trying to put an order in. In fact, I put the order in very close to being filled, and that's uh, what I'm doing right now. If you'll bear with me one second, I will have this up and ready. Only take me a minute. Here we go, boys and girls, and we'll see how we're see how we're doing this right now. Okay, all right. That's what we're watching here this morning. Now, since uh, since we are uh, taking a look at the the crude oil, I wanted to, to give you an idea. Uh, what it, what it looks like here in the crude oil for today because it's been uh, one that has been doing incredibly well here. Just give me one second, folks. I've got to do something, uh, and that's one of the problems with doing this when you're when you're here at the uh, you know the same time as we're looking at the uh, oh, dog on it. Just a minute. The uh, <laughs> shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second here, folks. What I'm trying to do is do two things at once, and the early morning is a rough time for me because I'm so busy early that first two hours. There's the uh, there's what we've been looking at in the oil. We had a real nice buy down there at the 40, uh, night, to 40, 30 level, and if you remember, Tommy was on saying a strong support there at 40, 30. We've already rallied $600 uh, off of that, and so it's starting to move, and that that's what these numbers are folks they're just things that you know line up that tell you that you should be at one spot or another and that's really what you're what you're trying to do when you're when you're doing them but they don't always work and you don't should you should never expect them to always work because the problem is and the problem is is that you don't always get the opportunities that you think you get because of the way that things are acting in other words you got to let the market respond to you just like we talked about with Pfizer you remember when the guy sold his stock that means something folks it really does when somebody and, and that knows something on the inside sells 62% of their position they're either scared that something's wrong or they don't think it's going to go up much more that that's the bottom line. So I wouldn't follow that. That would be the last thing I would do. Is a Mac some people make a living just following what Warren Buffett and some of these guys do. So that's all I can tell you. I don't know if it's going to mean much or not, but uh, that's what we're looking at. We'll have to pay uh, close attention to it, of course, and we'll see how it uh, transpires here uh, this morning. Okay, uh, one other question someone had was about uh, stops. Folks, stops, uh, you have to use them because if you don't, you're, you're telling the market you don't you don't know where it's going to go. The you're telling the market that you know more about the market than the market does. And trust me, that's not a good thing to do. So what you have to be able to do is you've got to be able to find a level that you're comfortable with. Saying what is, what is your choking point? And you have to have the order in the market. I know some people are really good at using desk stops. But frankly, I don't have the discipline to, to use a desktop. I've got to be able to get out of there. My maximum is about 1000 bucks if I'm trading gold and crude oil and stuff like that. S&P, you can get by with 10 points with no problem at all. The, the NASDAQ, totally different. The NASDAQ, you've got to go with uh, you know 50 handles on that because it moves $1,000 just like if you blink your eye. And so those are just a few of the things that you got to think about. But you've got to, you've got to. It's all about risk control. How much do you have to risk when you have to get in? Now, you know the 382 retracement in the gold, folks, was 1895. Now that's a contract that's worth 180,000, 189,000 dollars, right? Okay. Now ordinarily you'd have to risk a thousand dollars, but if you believe that the 382 is an important number at 1895, then you can trade that with a five dollar stop. You don't have to use a fifteen dollar stop because if it gets five dollars above there, you're flat out wrong. 
So that's that's how you try to use these things. So whether it means anything uh, to you to hear this, my dissertation on, I don't know, but that's what I've always uh, tried to do. I've I've been there and done that with some of these things, and uh, you know, sat there and paid the uh, pauper a few times, and it's not very fun. So decide what you got to risk before you even enter the trade. You know, that's the that's the main thing to you know try to remember. I hope that helps. I giving you the best of what I'm looking at, but we'll see how these things are moving here. Okay, hogs, you know, Ruby, the hogs have not moved very much, and I don't know why. You know, cattle had a big move, but they but they certainly haven't. You know, we'll see what's going on. We'll uh, watch watch what's happening. Anyway, those are the things that are that are happening here this morning. we got a break coming up here, and then we have Mr. Calls to the Limit. Mr. Winsky will be on. We haven't had him on for a few weeks, so he'll be good like he always is, and maybe we'll get him to answer a few questions uh, about the election because he and also Mr. Uh, Bost and also Mr. Uh, what was his name? Bill Meridian. All of them uh, thought that Mr. Trump was uh, going to win, but it doesn't look like uh, he's. They're going to be right on this, but but we still have him as guests. That's for sure. That's not a problem. Hey, we'll be on with Winsky right next, boys and girls. Stay with us. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archive subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I would like to tell you that we have one of our favorite people back today after an extended vacation. Norman Winsky, how are you, my friend? Very good, Larry. Thanks we're for ready for you, buddy. Thanks. Thanks for having we're me ready on your for show. You. You're welcome. Are we ready to start? Should we start? We're ready to start, <laughs> but uh, Norm, did, uh, you did call that Trump was going to win. It looks like he's going to lose. Um is this one of those times the astrology just didn't work? Uh, I know you. I, I, and I, I wrote this you, in my letter. Yes, I'm you not did. Making any you sure did. I'll shut I'm up. Sorry. Go ahead, Norm. Go ahead. No, the answer is that we only can go on the uh, information we're given. I'm at the mercy. You know, I think the it's based on people's the candidates' natal charts. That's when the, we think they the time of day that we think they were born. Uh, I think uh, I'm uh, very confident about Trump's chart. I got uh, Biden's chart off the internet. There was no verification that that was the correct time, and that that's all I had to go on, you know. So I had to go with his chart. So it could be they got their time wrong. I don't know. Uh, so, the, but you know what, Larry? It ain't over yet, right? I also forecasted. You might remember a disputed election. I, you know, you with sure the, did. You, with you the sure last did. last time we had Mercury turn direct on election day was the 2000 election. Mm -hmm. So. We'll see how this goes. You know, who knows? Maybe a miracle will happen and it'll go the other way. You know, you never know, right? Yeah, but, but got, China I, oh, China crowned uh, Biden the prince, so that means – does that mean okay. anything because the China accepted him or not? Yeah, China is celebrating. They're hoping that he makes it because he's their guy in my opinion. But I know we don't want to get into politics, Larry. So no, sir. This is not. A, this is a. This is a trading environment, not a political environment. You got okay, that so right, Bubba. Let's get right to it, so we don't run out of time, because I got huge stuff to talk about. Well, I'm gonna so for the I haven't been on for a while, so sort of for the new people, I'm gonna run across, uh, run by some of my big principles. Uh, my background big principles are that you know I'm sort of a uh, in the Gann school there, Mr. W. D. Gann. If you don't know, is considered one of the greatest market technicians of the 20th century. And Mr. Gann's primary timing tool was astrology. He was an astrologer. Mr. Gann also said that time was more important than price, and so therefore he used the, the astrology to forecast time, and so you don't really need to forecast prices at all. All you got to do is have the key time. The key times will give you the key prices, and in terms of price action, I use Newton's Law. For every action, there's an opposite equal reaction, so when we get to one of these key time windows, we're looking for a high percentage of time that that trend will reverse. Doesn't happen all the time, but maybe 75, 70, 75 percent of the time you'll get a price reversal in time. So just keep in mind, no, you can use your Fibonacci retracement. I like Fibonacci, but unless those Fibonacci retracements line up with a key time, uh, there's a good chance that it's going to keep going because no market will turn before it's time to borrow from an old wine commercial, right, Larry? <laughs> there you go. All right, so here we go. Here we go. So we had a big – I'm going to go back a couple of weeks so we can learn about some cycles. And also you learn some terminology. You get to learn some Greek and Latin and so forth. And so back oh, – we had a huge cluster of cycles over the weekend of the 30th. We had Venus perihelion. That's from the Greek. And the helios is sun for Greek. And para means close. So the Venus in its 225-day cycle – was at its closest point to the sun as it goes around the sun. The planets go around the uh, the planets go around the sun in an elliptical fashion, not in a circle. So they all have a point where they get close and where they get and where they're far. So there we go. So Venus has to do with the uh, and because it's the sun, I was watching the uh, corn, gold, and oh, there we go, cattle, copper, corn. Uh, cotton, gold, stocks, stocks, the big basket, everything responds to all these cycles, sugar and wheat. Then, but wait, Larry, that's not all. Over the weekend, we had a full moon in the sign of Taurus at Apogee. That's called a micro moon. It's the opposite of a super moon. And that only occurs every 14 months. Uh, so we round up the usual suspects. We've got your financial grains, precious metal, cattle, and cotton. And then also that weekend, but wait, this is, gets even bigger. Because Mercury was perihelion all at the same time, and that is a very rare coincidence there. We had Mercury perihelion, Venus perihelion within about, within about a one day of each other, and so this was looking like a huge change in trend window. So that we had, uh, and that we, we were watching the corn, gold, soybeans, stocks, and wheat, Mercury's grains, 
And then we have Jupiter lined up with Saturn in the sign Aquarius. Jupiter and Saturn get together about in every 19 and a half years. But this was a change in element. There's four elements in the zodiac, and they stay in the same element that's, you know, like earth or air or water. And uh, they only change element. They, they, get, they do that the cycle always dance in the same element for about 240 years and this will be the first time it's been in Aquarius for about 960 years it changed last change element in 1840 and just to make a long story short we had a Mr. Harrison did not last long there and then every president after that that was in office with Jupiter and Saturn conjunct did not make it and did not make it to normal retirement and so there you go. And that lasted all the way till in 1980 when there was a 960 year aberration that only occurs every 19, every 960 years. It flipped out of the earth into air temporarily into Libra and Mr. Reagan survived. So there you go. And that broke the cycle and we haven't had any president die in office since. So that's a, that's a whole, a whole other story. We could do a lecture on that for a half an hour. All right, moving on ahead here now. And that's a, going to be your coffee Saturn Copper is Aquarius and stocks. And then we had Mercury turning direct. You know, Mercury goes retrograde three times a year for about 21 days, and then it goes direct. And that was right on Election Day. And uh, we're looking at corn, soybean, in Libra is sugar, stocks, and wheat. And by the way, back in 2000, it was in the same sign in Libra when it went uh, direct. That's crazy, huh? All right, the ninth uh, after the close, as we had the big blow-off day there on Monday the 9th. And they had a very. I said that was this should be a very positive cycle. And the S and P and the Nasdaq all went blew uh, blew up to new all time highs, I believe. And that was, and we also had the uh, the vaccine announcement. And this was very positive. I said this would be a very positive for the U.S. Major change in trend for stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar, and oil. These are all taken from my letter, and these were all published uh, points published in advance. Then on the ash, midday in the tenth. We had, there's another cycle called maxima elongation. This has to do with the relationship between Mercury and oh, Venus does this too, between the sun and the earth. You know, like in the, you might have heard, sometimes Venus is the earth e evening star, sometimes the morning star. That has to do with this relationship, how Venus and Mercury swing back and forth relative to the sun and the earth, and it's like a, kind of like a pendulum cycle. And when they get to their extreme, that's called maxima elongation. And because it's Mercury, we'll be looking at grains, as you might remember, Larry, right there in the middle of the day on the on the 10th, uh, that we had a grain report right late morning, and those grains exploded to the upside. So there we go, right with Mercury at elongation. Anytime we get a, a, a some extreme in these cycles, we often get uh, some news coming out to help the market, help the planets do their thing, you know, right? So here hey, Norm, was the, we've here got to, we go. Norm, we've got to take a break here for a second. But before we do that, we have a question. Do you think the S&P is going to go higher or lower from here? I'll be talking about that when we come back. Well, uh, we go, do go, that. Go. Then. We'll be right back with Norm Winsky, folks. Astro Trends out of Florida. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. 
Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, back, folks, with Norm Winsky out of Astro Trans. Norm, before we get started, would you be able to come on the show on Friday, the 27th of November? We've got a uh, full moon coming in on the 30th. What's your schedule? And that's also the most positive day uh, for the stock market being up. Could, could you be on that day? Uh, that sounds like a difficult time. That'll be my deadline time for my get the December letter out. Okay, well, we'll 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 schedule you again sometime in 2024. Then that's not a problem. Go right, right. ahead. I'm joking. I'm just joking, Norm. So go right I'm ahead not, and finish up. Please. I would consider 2023. You know. <laughs> okay. Call call my, call my agent. I will. All right, I'm going to recommend that you take a screenshot of this uh, information here. So this is like the main guide for the, what I'm going to be showing you for these charts. But obviously, when I scroll down, you won't be able to see this anymore. So give everybody like 10 seconds and see if you can take a screenshot of that. Otherwise, you can always go back and watch the video again. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hopefully, everybody got it. They wanted to get it. And there we go. Now, we're moving ahead. I will explain as we go. All right, so uh, here we go. Over the weekend of the 30th, that's, uh, we had the moon in uh, the full moon in Taurus the bull. You might guess that's cattle, and you'd be right. Also, we had Venus at perihelion. That Venus rules Taurus. So that's another possible cycle hit there. And we had a little short-term top there in the cattle. It didn't make a, probably didn't make a lot of money, but a little bit of money there. If you sold it there, you said that, and you didn't take much heat. All right, there's the coffee. Jupiter Saturn lined up. Saturn is coffee. And there we go, right there on near that low there on the coffee. And up, up, and away it went. So here's the copper. Copper is another Venus market. And we had the, uh, see, yeah, Venus market right there. And so, and then Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius. Aquarius is the, one of the, the sign for copper. And so you went 50 50 there. You bought near the low, but then you probably might have gotten out there too early on the, uh, after they rallied for about a day or so. All right, here's your corn. You're right on the lows of the corn there with the moon and the mercury, perihelion, mercury is grains. And then you broke out on mercury going direct and then up, up, and away. And this is really great because uh, I know you had people on there talking about the crop report there on the midday on the 10th. And that, well, there it is, mercury it was perihelion. And not the perihelion, can't cancel it. It was maximum elongation there and the grains exploded. And then you're within, the, I think the high was probably by a penny or two the next day. And then that's been the high of the month. Here's your cotton. We're buying right on the lows there. The cotton, it's a, it's, a, it's a cousin to the cattle. And so the astral cousin. And there we have the moon in Taurus. I'm sorry, the full moon in, uh, that's right, full moon in Taurus. And Venus. And there we go. There's your two signals there indicating look for a change in trend there. And you're getting it right on the low there. 
There's the gold. We missed on the gold. Two days late on the gold. There's a low over there. I only allow one day. If I'm more than one day off, it's wrong. I got to put a red arrow there. Okay. Don't hit them all. I know it's shocking. All right. It here's is. The, huh? It is shocking. There you go. Here's your oil. Oil up, up, and away. We were um, we had the right day. And well, within one day, we were one day early. But the price is too. The price swing was too big. And so I had to mark that wrong based on volatility. If you sold there, you got about $3 of heat. I'm going to assume that everybody uses a much better stop loss than $3 in oil. So you probably took a loss there, right? So there we go. And the next day was the top, you see. But that's that uh, Jupiter, too. If you know what a natal chart is, folks, as we take a snapshot of when something was born or something began, and I use the natal chart for the U.S. when we were founded on the 4th of July in 1776, that was Jupiter with 120 degrees to where Neptune was on the 4th of July in 1776. And that's what also gave you that big blow off in the stock market and and uh, and uh, many uh, U.S. financials there uh, on that day, on the on the 9th. You know, there we go. We're looking for the – do something. There's the uh, the Monday, the 9th, and then we always try to trade on the next day's opening. And so there we go. You're about a day on the oil. This kept going. All right, here's the silver, same as the gold, two days late. Yeah, it's a miss. Here's the beans. We don't do sideways. Newton's law for every action. There's an opposite equal reaction. If it's going sideways, we don't do anything. But on Mercury going, turning direct, it did break out of that consolidation right there as Mercury turned direct. And then it was up, up, and away to, Mer to the Mercury maximum elongation there. And we caught that was right on the uh, near the top there for the beans one day early and just a few pennies from the top. Here's your S&P, huge cluster of cycles there on the 30th weekend, and that turned out to be a very good low, and also you broke that downtrend there on the Monday, and we went up, 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 and away, and as you probably know, Larry, I think you mentioned on your show that that first week of November was the biggest up week since April, and then with this week, we, this past week, we went uh, last week, we just kind of chopped sideways, and so... I got that's what those yellow windows are there. We don't do sideways. Okay? Just take a pass. All right. So sugar. Sugar is beautiful. I think you got one of your people there that loves trade sugar. Is that Ruby or somebody? Ruby. Ruby, Ruby and Romantics. Ruby. That's her. You got it. Uh, Ru Ruby loves the sugar. Well, Ruby might want to be following this stuff because look what happened. You had Venus. Venus is, uh, is uh, sugar. That's a Libra market. And look at that, You're right on the near the low there for the sugar. And then it rallied up, and it was <laughs> three days. The sugar made its low of the month, and it made its high of the month, all within a three-day period. And this one over here is, uh, oh, yeah, Mercury turned direct in the sign Libra, which is sugar science. So there you topped out right there with Mercury turning direct in Libra. You see that? And this has been going sideways ever since, pretty much, you know. Here's the T-bonds. Had a miss there. We were coming down. I like to buy on the down and sell on the up. And so there we go. We, that's a miss. It just kept going lower. And I got something that you're going to love in a few minutes, Larry, when I show you the fractal model. And then we had a little bounce there into my next window, which was the uh, the, the night of the ninth, you know, opening the 10th. And we had a little bounce there and a little pullback. So you could have made a little money there on the T-bonds. Here's your wheat. That's another Libra Mer and, and Mercury, Libra and Mercury market. And there you go. You made a low right there on the Venus perihelion, and then on Mercury turning direct. That was kind of look kind of looks similar to the sugar chart, no, it doesn't it? I didn't. Oh, I, oh my God, that is a sugar chart. I made a boo. I made a boo boo there, Larry. I don't. Let's see if I have the sugar chart. That's okay. We'll delay your check a few weeks, but that's okay. Right, Continue there, on. All right. So sorry about that. Anyway, it did work out, and uh, somehow I, I missed on. Uh, yeah, I apologize for that. That's not sugar. I mean, that's not wheat, that's sugar. All right, no wonder they look so much alike, right? All right, here's the dollar. We're going to look at some currencies now. The currencies dance to the moon. I will prove it to you. There you go. There you're on the high of the dollar at the full moon. And there's your Aussie dollar on the low at the full moon. And there's your British pound at the low on the full moon. And there's your Canadian dollar. Not as good as the others, but still going side with that was it had a little pullback a little lower low there right on monday the second right after the full moon and there's your euro near the low on the full moon here's the score larry if you add up the green arrows and the red arrows i had 25 winners six misses 
out of 31, so that's uh, 80.865%. I apologize for the misses there. I'm going to have to work on that. All right, we certainly we are. We like perfection here at TFNN, my friend. Another so we're going to let it pass because you've given us some good calls in the past, and so you're still one of our main players. So continue on, please. Oh, hey, we got a, you know, Norm, we got a break coming up, so you're going to sell some of our new listeners because we've added a whole lot of people. So why don't you tell the folks uh, when we come back from the break, you know what, uh, what your, how they can reach you, and some of the free things you have because you've got some wonderful educational things that the folks can use if they like astrology. So when we get back from this break, why don't you spend a minute or two telling us that? Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with Norm Winsky, Astro Chance out of. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Norm Winsky, Astro Trends, out of uh, Florida, Naples, Florida. Norm, you want to tell us, tell the folks how they can reach you and some of the things that you offer? All right, let me just correct. the. Here's the wheat chart here. I corrected over in the commercial. And there you go. You had the moon and Mercury at the right at the lows there. And, again, Mercury went direct on the third. And that was a little bit of a high there. So we did pretty good on the wheat. That won't – I did not uh, – so there we go. So I got to tell you what's coming up. No, I didn't get to tell the folks what's – oh, and here, here's the bond fractal I did back in February. This is very simple. I could teach a 10-year-old to do this in 10 minutes. It's no f fancy math, nothing like that. I, if it were, I couldn't do it. And so I did that blue bars there based on the January price action back in February for the year. And you can see it's following this track very well. And after a little bounce here in November, 
I think this agrees with you, Larry. We could be heading a lot lower. It's okay. So there we go. There's the bonds. If you want to learn how I do that, give me a call. So we got, uh, here's what's coming up here. Just yesterday, we had a big, uh, we're starting a big window here right now. Yesterday, J Jupiter lined up with Saturn, but heliocentrically from the point of view of the sun. Jupiter lined up with Pluto yesterday and last night. This weekend, we got Mars and Aries turning direct. That only occurs every two years and a new moon in perigee in the sign Scorpio. So we'll have round up your soul suspects for your pre grains, precious metals. And then because of the Scorpio, you might want to look at cocoa, hogs, and T-bonds. That's a lunar syzygy or supermoon, and that's corresponding to a planet turning direct, and that's huge, okay? And then a week from now, we're going to have another big cycle convergence for the U.S. Something really big is going to happen in about a week for the U.S., maybe over that weekend. That might be a resolution of this whole presidential election thing there, right? And that's, look at that, got one, two, three, four big cycles all in a very short amount of time. Okay, and there were, there's your cocoa chart going sideways as of last night. Hogs going even more sideways than the cocoa, and so there you go. And now we're going to talk about how you can get a hold of me and all this good stuff I got. So I got classes. You can learn astrology. There's my contact information there. Uh, there's my phone. There's my email. There's my Skype. And uh, thanks for having me on, Larry. I hope to f help some of your folks. You got it, Bubba. We'll talk to you later, Norm. Be safe. Thanks a lot. Stay Bye. on the green side of the grass, folks. We'll see you all on Monday. God willing.